So friends, I'd like to share with you this selection from Stand Unshaken. This is from day 13. It's one of my favorites. The secret of living fearlessly is cultivating compassion. And the quote from one of our blogs is, tear down those walls around your heart and let God's forgiveness, compassion, and love shine into it. You might wonder, well, what does compassion have to do with living fearlessly? But it has a great deal to do. We heard a beautiful story, true story, of a Tibetan monk who had been in prison by the communists in China for many years. And he had been tor tortured and uh, really abused severely. Finally, he had, was well known before he'd been imprisoned. And finally, because of public outcry, he was released. And he recovered and then went to see the Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama said, you must have been very frightened while you were in prison. You must have been in great danger. And the man said, oh yes, I was in great danger. And the, man, and the Dalai Lama said, you mean that you would have been tortured or deprived? And the man said, oh no, sir. I was very afraid that I would lose my compassion for my captors. And as long as he had compassion for them, he wasn't afraid. And this is such a beautiful secret because no matter how other people behave, no matter how threatening or misguided they may be, if we can try to see into their heart and try to feel that the same heart that beats in their breast beats in our breast, the same desire for happiness, to be loved, to be accepted, lies within them as it does within us, then people don't frighten us anymore. We look at them and we only see our own self, perhaps in a different form, perhaps in a form that we wouldn't choose to express in, at this time. But nevertheless, if we can find compassion for everyone, everyone, that's the beginning of fearlessness. Then we walk as children in this world. There was another story of a wandering sadhu in India, and he walked uh, through, he was walking through the countryside and some bandits came upon him and beat him and really injured him and left him, took whatever little he had. And then his disciples came and found him and they said, Master, Master, do you know us? Do you know who we are? Can you recognize us? And the master looked at them with a heart filled with compassion. He said, yes, I recognize you. You're the same ones that beat me up and took my clothes. And now you come and you come as my disciples. You're all one. And so if we can, it's such a beautiful story of how people can see past hurt, see past even poor treatment, but always find in their hearts the way Christ modeled for us in the cross. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And if this world can have a rebirth of compassion and understanding and forgiveness, no matter what happens, we will move into a time of greater unity and happiness as a global experience.